We have a tall story for you tonight. Tall, in fact, is a two-masted brig under full sail plying the waters of the Ottawa River. And that's where we're taking you tonight on Inside Ottawa. For they that go down to the sea in ships, that do business in great waters, it's a magical image, the tall ship. We go out and there's blackjack just sitting there and I guess that was the first thing I said when I stepped aboard the little boat was, that's the boat I want to go on right there. That boat was a hundred year old tug turned brig called the Blackjack. And of all the impressive sights you'll see in the nation's capital, she and her sister ship, the Fair Jean, must be among the most unexpected. They're both recreations of 18th century sailing vessels, turned into trainers for youth from Ottawa and around the world. And this is a real maritime workout, right down to the ex-Royal Canadian Navy whalers being used as ship's tenders. And it's possible for everyone to come aboard. There's bursary funds and uh, our, our whole slogan is to never leave anyone at the dock for lack of anything. And thanks to the charitable status of Bytown Brigantine, no one does get left at the dock. With Blackjack on the river and the larger Fair Jean on lakes and oceans, over 2,500 young people have gotten a chance to sail on the fleet of the late Captain Thomas Fuller, who bought the one and built the other. The Blackjack was brought over from Scotland as a prefab uh, back in 1904. And she was assembled just past uh, Quillon, up the river, and right there on the shore. And then they launched her, and she plied the trade, uh, the logging trade. Uh, Captain T.G. Fuller, Tom Fuller, he uh, decided to buy it. And he bought it, brought it in, fixed it up, and converted it to what she is now. Bytown Bringing Team was founded in 84. And what they did is they wanted to make sure that young people can have a chance to go sailing. They start off with it just as a trainee first time on. They, uh, they're kind of belligerent. They're used to their little Game Boys, mom and pop doing their uh, dishes, cleaning up. All of a sudden, they've got to do their own cleanup. They've got to be responsible for their own area and their maintenance of the ship. And a lot of the kids, first few days, it's really hard. You have to shout and you have to cajole them. You have to convince them that this is what has to be done. Over to your last line. Uh, Fulbert, look up. This line right here. Days go by and all of a sudden they get used to it. And they really kind of start enjoying it. I remember the first day I went up in the rigging, which is up there, to learn how to just balance myself. And I was terrified. <laughs> And then eventually I got used to it, and now I love it. Teamwork is very important, and I don't do teamwork <laughs> until now. <laughs> In the 20-odd years that Bytown Brigantine has been operating, over 2,500 trainees have passed through the program. For some of them, it's been a summer lark on the water. But others say they've taken away lessons on leadership and teamwork that they'll carry with them for the rest of their lives. Oh, and one other thing. They're definitely sailors now. I talk to people and they're like, so what do you like? And I'm like, sailing. And they're like, sailing? I'm like, yeah. And I always tell them I'm, I'm definitely going to be captain one day or a petty officer. And I actually can't wait. Definitely a possibility since the two brigs are in it for the long term. Blackjack recently got a major refit and was rechristened in a ceremony led by Governor General Adrian Clarkson. What began as one man's hobby many years ago is now a capital institution, even if the waters here don't run so deep. Blackjack has been... Ottawa's flagship for a number of years now uh, and I don't think it would even really be right to move it anymore. It's, it belongs in Ottawa. Next week on Inside Ottawa will satisfy your curiosity if you've ever wondered where fire engines come from. And remember, if you have an Inside Ottawa story idea, you can contact me by logging onto our website at achannel.ca. Still to come on A Channel News. Last year,